Hi students, today we are going to read Michael Recycle. This book was written by Ellie Bethel and was illustrated by Alexandra Colombo. Michael Recycle by Ellie Bethel and Alexandra Colombo. There once was a town called Aberdu Rimey, where garbage was left to grow rotten and slimy. It never smelled fresh. The air was all hazy, but the people did nothing. They got rather lazy. And then something happened that none could explain. It wasn't a bird and it wasn't a plane. A green caped crusader soared through the air with a colander hat on top of his hair. That's a colander. He's wearing it like a hat. But a colander is a strainer. Like if you were making pasta or noodles and you dumped them into that in the sink so that all the water would drain out. It's a strainer, a colander. So he soared through the air with a colander hat on top of his hair. He bounced off the earth with a thump and a bump and then landed headfirst in the town garbage dump. He brushed off his suit as he jumped to his feet and grinned at the townsfolk who he'd come to meet. I'm Michael Recycle and I have a plan, but I need your help, everyone to a man. The sky and the river are smelly and brown. Soon 50 foot bugs will take over your town. You've got to recycle, you've got to act soon before all your trash reaches up to the moon. Then, crushing a can, he gave them a wink and vanished from sight before they could blink. Miss Mooncotch explained to her friend, Mr. Crude, did you happen to hear what that boy said to do? Clean up and recycle, how hard can it be? A green and a clean town would be lovely to see. They recycled their paper, their plastic and cans, and even old junk like used pots and pans. They also began the Be Greener campaign. They grew their own kumquats and saved up the rain. So proud was the town of their green transformation, they threw a great party, a grand celebration. They covered the town in green toilet paper, then rolled it all back up to use again later. You may think that's yucky, but these folks don't agree. In Aberdu Rhymer, recycling is key. When Michael came back to visit the town, he didn't despair, get angry, or frown, for everything looked so clean and brand new, the sky and the river were again a bright blue. Look at our town, it gleams and it glitters. Now nothing's wasted and nobody litters. To Michael Recycle, the green caped crusader, our super green hero, the planet's new savior. But Michael Recycle was nowhere around. He'd already moved on to help the next town. So if you should see a green silhouette streaking the skies, please don't get upset. That noise that you hear, that clunk and that thunk, it's just our friend Michael recycling old junk. Michael Recycles Go Green Tips. Recycle, recycle, recycle. Find out what can be recycled in your town. Most towns offer curbside pickup for newspapers, cans, glass, and certain kinds of plastic. You might also be able to recycle styrofoam, foil, cardboard, catalogs, and magazines, and even appliances or electronic equipment. Who knows, maybe they'll even take your little brother or sister. I doubt that. Turn it off. Turn off electronic equipment like the TV, computer, and stereo when you're not using it. And lights. Recharge it, please. Ask your parents to buy re rechargeable batteries and energy-efficient light bulbs. And don't be a drip. 
Check all the faucets in your house. If any are dripping, ask your parents to fix them. If they don't do it, tell them that you're just concerned about the water bill. They'll be very impressed. Quick and clean. Take shorter showers unless you're really, really smelly. So you wash, wash your hair, clean your body, and then get out of the shower. You don't need to hang out there. No running when brushing. Turn off the running faucet when you're brushing your teeth. So after you get your toothbrush wet, turn off the water. Leave it off the whole time that you brush. After you spit your toothpaste out, turn the water back on. Rinse your toothbrush, rinse your mouth, clean the sink, then turn it off again. Take a stroll. Whenever you can, walk or ride your bike. Maybe you can get your parents to ride along too, right beside you. No paper trail. Reduce the amount of paper that you use at home. Use dish towels or rags instead of paper towels and cloth napkins instead of paper napkins. Write messages for your family on a wipe off board instead of a notepad. Use, use both sides of a piece of paper before throwing it out. Tell your parents that if they don't conserve paper, that means save, you'll run out and then you wouldn't be able to do your homework. Trees, please. Trees are true friends of the earth. They keep us cool and make oxygen for us to breathe. Plant a tree in your yard or organize a tree planting party for your neighborhood or school. At the very least, say thank you when you pass that big elm or maple. Don't worry, they won't bark. Do you get it? Trees have bark on the outside. Can it. Don't litter. Make sure your trash ends up where it belongs, in a trash can or the back of your closet. I think that must be a joke. Trash doesn't belong in your closet. But don't throw your trash out on the ground. Always wait until you have a trash can. Pile it up. Don't throw away glass, grass clippings and fallen leaves. Start a compost pile in your backyard. A little sun, a little rain, a few bugs. Okay, millions of bugs, which is the cool part. And in a few months, you'll have healthy soil for your garden. And all those trimmings and clippings won't be taking up space in a landfill. You can add eggshells, coffee grounds, and fruit and vegetable peels to your compost pile too. But no annoying cousins. So if you want the earth to be pretty and clean and healthy, you should recycle. Listen to Michael Recycle and reuse whatever you can. Then, if you can't reuse it, make sure that you don't put it in the trash. You put it in the recycling can. Thanks for reading with me today.